What's up, friends? Welcome back to Aisha's Butterfly Land. Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I make my homemade meatloaf. So this is, I know every, everyone make their meatloaf different. So this is just how I make it. So I went ahead and preheated my oven to 350 degrees. So it's nice and toasty. So let's go over the ingredients. Okay, so over here, I have one medium onion, white onion. I have one fresh minced uh, garlic. I try to chop it up as small as I can. One fourth of a cup of green bell pepper. Um, I will have the exact measurements in the description box. And of course, you'll need ground beef. So I will be using one pa uh, pound and a half of ground beef right here. And over here, I have two eggs that I already uh, I have two eggs that I already uh, put in the bowl, you know, whisk it a little bit. So over here, I have uh, some milk. I have milk. I have plain, uh, uh, plain bread, uh, plain breadcrumbs. I have some ketchup, black pepper, vinegar, salt, chili powder, and this one here. Um, I might just use just a little bit of this because this one have everything. This is the uh, curio seasoning. So I'm going to mix my meat in here. And it just depends on what kind of meat you want to uh, use. But I, I guess with the, uh, with the ground beef for the meatloaf, it's better to use the fatty part, the fat, not the uh, lean, lean part. So right here, I'm going to put put it in here. I have two eggs in here. So pretty much I'm just going to mix everything in. So I'm going to add the seasoning before I add the onions and I'm going to add the seasoning before I add the onions and uh, the breadcrumb. Okay? So this one is the Creole seasoning. This is really good because they got everything. So I just like to add a little bit of this. Just a little bit, then I can go in with the rest. Just a little bit. So salt and pepper, like two pinches. And like I said, with the uh, seasoning, it's just all about how 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 well you want your uh, your stuff to be seasoned. And I know a lot of people don't like seasoning; they just like to add salt and pepper and stuff like that. But I like my stuff well seasoned. Black pepper. Okay. And the, uh, the vinegar will be like a cap full. And with the, uh, with the ketchup and now in the meat, I like to add just like a squirt of ketchup. So we just give it that flavor. So now I'm gonna go in with the onions. Bell pepper. And garlic and this is gonna give it flavor so with the bread with the breadcrumb uh, if you have the um, I have I have the plain one but if you have the one that's already uh, with the parsley the one that's already uh, <coughs> the flavor one that's, that's fine mix it in the milk in okay so just mix it just mix it and with this part guys uh, it's probably better to just use your hand and of course, I have my uh, loaf pan here. And let's talk about the cook time. It's gonna go in the oven for 40 minutes. It's gonna go in the oven for 40 minutes. Then after the 40 minute mark, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> after the 40 minute mark, I will take it off, then uh, add my ketchup, uh, uh, the topping on there. And cook it for like an extra five minutes so it can have the you know be nice and uh, have the glaze. As you can see, that I'm not go I'm not being too rough with the meat because I don't want to overwork the meat. So I'm just being very gentle, but mixing it, making sure everything is combined. Okay. So um, when I put it in the oven, I'm going to cover it so that it don't dry out too quickly, okay? So I'm gonna cover it with foil and put it in the oven, like I said, for 40, uh, for 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes. Then uncover it, 
and it should have some juice because from the, from the steam from the foil then after that i will add my ketchup glazed on there okay as you can see it's nice and mixed but i don't want to over mix it i don't want my meat to be too tough okay so let me go i'm gonna go ahead and just place it in here and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i am i'm having a good day i'm just still trying to get over this cough guys this cough is just not letting me be but anywho i'm feeling much much better all right so you see i have it nice and uh see it didn't it, i didn't have to do too much now this is let me make sure you can see this and excuse the mess i spilled a little uh, milk over there can you see that okay so i have my meat in here so now i'm about to cover it going in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes with the foil on i see you then all right friends so i'm about to make the um the ketchup topping right here i have a tablespoon of brown sugar uh, two pinches of black pepper and salt so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and add Asia, go ahead and add some ketchup right here. And mix it all in. Get him in there. And guys, I apologize for the noise in the background. Baby's not feeling good today. She's teething and she's just not feeling well at all. So I just started off with a, just a little bit, then let me see. Hopefully this is enough. If not, I just make more. I feel like it's good. Probably, okay, I'm going to go in with the spatula. Just make sure everything is... Do it as smooth as possible. Alright, so I have it right here. I'm going to uh, go back and put it in the oven. Going back in the oven for additional uh, 10 minutes until the uh, ketchup is nice and thick. Alright friends, my meatloaf is ready and I made some mashed potatoes on the side and I have a side salad here. So let me show you the inside. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Juicy, not dry at all. You enjoyed the video? Give me a big thumbs up. Until next time. Peace.